to my channel. So if you can't tell, that's where my couch used to be and we sold it. So <laughs> now there's no couch in my house. Riley is over here drinking her water though. That's what some of that noise is. And I am just sitting on the floor. So <laughs> anyway, um, today's video, I decided to try out something different and do like a little mini hacks type of video. I don't know if I really like to use the term hacks for this, but hacks, tips, tricks, whatever. And to kind of ease my way into it and test the waters, I'm doing one makeup, one hair, and one like fashion slash lifestyle type of trick for you. So, let's get started. All right, so the first hack I want to start with is using lipstick for blush. Now I've used cream blushes before and if you've watched my like my old Ipsy videos and stuff you know that I didn't really like them all that much and I don't say this is gonna be that much different but I'm gonna try it. I actually brought two different shades out here. I brought the CoverGirl O oh Sugar in Spice which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now as well. And then I brought this Flower Cosmetics in Dewy Rose. So I thought maybe if we had like options color wise and maybe texture wise, we'd get different results. So I'm going to start off with the CoverGirl one over here. I'm also not a huge fan of blush in general, so I just feel like I'm not very good at blending out cream color on my face. I'm going to try the flower one over on this other side. I know the lighting like sucks in here, but there's CoverGirl, there's Flower. Um, as far as being able to blend them out, I like the Flower one a lot better color wise. I mean, it's a good way to get a nice little like wash of color on your cheeks if you happen to be out of town and you're like, oh crap, I forgot my blush. Why not? I say it works. It's a hack. Not a preferred hack, but. If you're good with cream blushes, then they hit. But if you're good with cream blushes, then I think you will be good to go. All right, so my next hack is kind of a two-part one. It's a hair hack for curling shorter hair easier, I guess. My hair is relatively short at the moment. A lot shorter than I normally have it, but yeah. There's actually, the reason I say that this is like a two part one is because it's like the same hack done two different ways. So I'm gonna pull down a couple pieces of hair and pull back the rest because it's been a ponytail all day and it looks awful. So the way this works is you're supposed to take your hair and like wrap it around your fingers and then put this in your straightener. I don't want to burn my fingers and I can't see because <laughs> all I'm using is the viewfinder. I don't have a mirror right here. So, let's see how this works. It's not even all the way in there, but whatever. Mm. Gave it a little bit more defined curl. My hair is naturally curly, so maybe that helps a little bit. I don't know. All right. The second version of this that I have seen is to use aluminum foil and it's like that same basic method where you take your hair and you're curling it around your fingers but then you take your little loop here and you put it inside aluminum foil.
then you're supposed to take your straightener to the aluminum foil. And this is kind of terrifying to me because you're putting metal against your head and heating it up. And then you're supposed to like let that cool. All right, feels cool to me. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Oh, okay. That's interesting. It's like this nice light curl. I probably could have heated it up for longer and gotten a better curl on it, but I was scared. So, yeah. I guess I'd say that they're hacks, but I don't really see why this is any easier than using a regular curling iron. Unless all you have available to you is a straightener, then I guess I could see doing it, but I think there are other ways to curl your hair with a straightener without having to go get aluminum foil. You know? I don't know. To each their own, but I will not be using that one personally. The makeup one I will probably use personally if I ever find myself in a situation where I need some blush and don't have any. So, my third hack is the fashion slash lifestyle hack and it has to do with the hangers in your closet. I recently did this with my own closet. If you watch my vlogs then you probably saw my closet clean out where I've actually been doing this for like two years now and you take all of your stuff. I always do mine at the end of July. I don't know why, it's just whenever I started it so that's whenever I go through and do it. But you take all of your hangers and you turn them all backwards. Like instead of everything hanging like, like if you were looking at your closet, instead of things hanging this way on the hanger, on the little rod, instead of the, your hangers going this way, they'd be facing you like this. Okay? So then after you wear something, then you take it, you wash it, all that jazz. When you go to hang it back up, you turn the hanger around the right way. Then, after a year, you can see what stuff is turned back around and what stuff you haven't worn in an entire year. So I use that to clean out my closet every year. So then I can take all the stuff that I haven't worn and I can go through it and see if there's like a reason I haven't worn it, like if it's like a special occasion type of thing, I might keep it because I just haven't had a reason to wear it, but I don't necessarily want to get rid of it. And then a lot of stuff I just end up getting rid of because I realize I haven't worn it, I'm probably not going to wear it, so why keep it? So yeah. Using this method, I've been able to free up a lot of space in my closet, especially this last time. I was really amazed. So yeah, give it a try. Let me know how it goes. All right, that is it for this little hacks video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas for any other type of hacks videos that you would like to see in the future, leave me a comment down below with your ideas. Because, like I said, this is my first ever video like this, and I'm just kind of testing it out, seeing what I like, what I don't like. You know. Also leave me a comment as to whether you like the videos where like you actually watch people test things out and get their like first reaction right there like with the makeup and the hair or if you prefer the type of hacks videos where people have already tested things out and they're just sharing with you how to do it and telling you how to make it work like the hangers trick. So that way I will know if you guys want to see more of one or the other. Yeah. Anyway. That is going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already so you can be informed of any other videos that I post because this year I am working on trying out different types of videos as I get ideas that come to me. It's a lot more difficult than I thought it would be because some videos take a lot more planning than other videos and my life has gotten a little crazy. Like I was talking about my couch earlier in the video being sold. So, yeah. Things are crazy, but I'm trying to stay on top of it and get out new videos and test out new things. And now I'm just rambling. So, I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>